Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we will be planning for the month of April. As you can see my daily and weekly planners are empty because I haven't been planning a lot these couple of weeks. But I wanted to continue planning using my digital planner and I started with month at a glance and this month I wanted to work on new planners, new stickers and as I opened my own shop, my own website, I needed some new content and I needed a new domain and also I wanted to focus on my health drink more, do more yoga, read more. So I wrote all of this down into my important section and please forgive my writing. I know it's not the best looking but I'm trying. And after that I looked at the month of April and I circled some important dates for me. For example, 29th is paying rent <laughs> and I'm sad about it. And now it's time to add some stickers and make this page a little bit more alive. I always add some stickers beforehand to create the mood, to inspire myself. And after that I added some places where I wanted to go this month. For example, this new bakery I saw and I wanted to go to the park with my dog more often. And after that I added some more stickers because we all know that there is no such thing as a lot of stickers. And I love this vintage sticker pack because it has the cutest stickers ever. And after that I wrote down some things I wanted to do this month into to-do list. I usually have these two sections with important things and just mundane day-to-day -day stuff that I wanted to achieve and it really helps me in prioritizing. And for the next thing, drawing in straight line is important, so let's make sure it's turned on uh, because I will be highlighting some days that I wanted to dedicate to different activities for example, cleaning my house or doing sports. I noticed that it really helped me if I tried planning everything ahead. For example, my cleaning days. And if I know that I will have cleaning day tomorrow, I will plan my day accordingly. And it helps me in keeping track of everything. And after I started doing that, my house is quite clean for my standards and I'm very happy about it. So yeah, I would recommend it. And the next thing I wrote was some things I wanted to watch slash read. And now we're watching fifth season of Peaky Blinders. And I hope it will be a great season. And after that I added some work sessions into my April at a glance. I try to have some days dedicated to arms workout, legs workout and some cardio. And of course let's not forget about resting days because they are quite important as I have Elden Ring to play <laughs> and it will be a nice reward for working out. Because without a reward, I usually don't have the strength to work out. I tried to fill out the whole month with cleaning and doing workout. And yeah, sometimes it is just easier to copy and paste some things that uh, you don't want to rewrite all over again. And after that I started working on the monthly planner 
and I added some cute stickers from the vintage sticker pack. I really love it because it pairs perfectly with this planner as it has the same magical vintage feeling. And usually I have quite a lot of stickers on my monthly planner because I don't write a lot of information there, but I like when it looks nice and inspirational. I've added some notes about paydays and birthdays. And apparently I didn't like how I wrote this payday sign because I rewrote it several times afterwards. And yeah, I've added some more stickers, some cute uh, washi tapes, some books that would inspire me to read more. And by the way, all the items you see in this video are available in my shop and link you can find in the description below. And all the items are 70% off right now if you use code SPRING. I also added this cute note sticker where I will write down the review of the month and I've started doing that recently and I think it is very useful because sometimes you feel like the month wasn't that eventful or interesting. When you're trying to write down the review for that month, you notice that it actually was quite nice. And as you can see, I've added this color changing sticker that I've created. It will be a new addition to the shop soon. And if you're interested in the topic of color changing stickers, please leave it in the comments below and I will create a video on how to make stickers like that. I chose a highlighter with a similar color to the color palette of the planner and I added some notes and some to-do lists to the days of the month. And now it's time for my favorite part, creating a vision board. I think I'm a very visual person and because of that I like creating these vision boards and I always have them in my planners. And I used some pictures I found on Pinterest that I really liked and I used crop tool to create these weird shapes because I think it looks very comfy and cute. And this month I wanted to work on my interior and wanted to have more plants around and that is why you can see a lot of plants on the pictures. I also like drawing some lines or doodles around my vision boards and I wish GoodNotes had more options for brushes because I think it's a little bit limited for my purposes but just a simple line sometimes can look very stylish and cute. And as you can see I'm adding some floral details to my vision board. And I'm trying to find some appropriate stickers for that. And of course I chose a plan. washi tapes because they add the feeling as if these were pieces from
from journal or a magazine and it gives me this nostalgic feeling because when I was a kid I liked doing collages and apparently I still do and for some reason I wasn't sure about this leaf situation and I tried to cover it up with a sticker but eventually I gave up and then I started working on my April goals I have four main goals for each month and I like writing down the reason for the goal it helps me to stay motivated and I have this progress bar for each goal and I like writing down some points some milestones for each goal that I want to achieve throughout the month and in April I have these four main goals I wanted to create new planners for my shop. I've already added two new planners. Pregnancy planner and a teacher planner in pastel colors. The second goal is to start a mailing list for my customers and update them on some new items in the shop and sales. The third one is working out three times a week. And the last one is reading two new books. And the last thing is creating these milestones for my goals. They are separated into four weeks. And sometimes I skip a week or I do some things that I wanted to do in two weeks in one week. It doesn't matter actually. But it really helps to see progress and to start preparing for the goal and to chop it into small to-do lists. Also, I started working on a course about creating digital planners and I will record the process of creating some of the planners I wanted to do this month and if some of you are interested in that please stay tuned because it will be out in my shop quite soon I will be talking about creating planners in Keynote without using Illustrator or Photoshop and for the mock-ups of the planners we will be using Canva which is a free website so if you have a MacBook or iMac or even an iPad you will be able to create your own digital planner without spending any money on additional software and that's it I hope you liked the planning process and if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe all the items you saw in the video could be found in the shop and link in the description below thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye